Testing. One, two, three. Stand by. Hang on. Let me focus. One, two, three. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm Andy. I was born in Buffalo. My parents and their friends like Wanda, Chester, and Stanley came here in the 1950s after surviving World War II. Very few people know their stories because they told them only in Polish or they didn't tell them at all. But I think they need to be heard. We had a lot of meadows, creeks, and we used to go fishing, just wading across the rivers. Oh man, we enjoy our life to the fullest. Before the war? Yeah, but everything changed. War changed everything. I remember my parents told me that too. They were just young people full of life and hope. But then Germany and Russia invaded their country, Poland. Millions of people were arrested and killed. They took me to Siberia, 1940, February the 10th. They put us against the wall, took off the shoes, they checked if I didn't hide anything in my shoes. Same thing with the whole family. Can you imagine? They were packed onto freight trains and taken far across Russia to hard labor camps. This is Poland, and so then you went up close to Finland? To the White Sea. There was 42 people in one boxcar. For seven weeks we were on a train. And the train was moving every day. They took us to the place where they were cut boots. And those streets were huge. Then they were huge. And everything was done by hand. When the Russians took you, what were you eating? Not like this, huh? Oh, oh no. Uh, where we were, we never ate tomatoes. We never ate any fruit. So uh, what did they tell you about when you're going to be free? They never told you you're going to be free. They keep telling us you're going to die here. You're going to live, work, and you die here. They never Many people did die, free. but Chester, Wanda, and Stanley survived. And the war suddenly changed. Stan, along with other survivors, was released to fight the Germans. Then, over there in Kazakhstan, I joined the army. Got wounded and burned. They had to send me to England. In the hospital, it's seven and a half months I spent in the hospital. Chester and Wanda also ended up in England. Oh, this one. That's a very old picture. <laughs> in 1950, we got married in England. My husband's parents, and on the left, my... Uh, mom and my stepfather. Stan got better and he got married too. When they share these stories with me, they finally start talking about having hope again, when they got the chance to come to America. Your first sight of Buffalo, what did it look like? Oh, that state railway station was something else. When I saw that railway station, he says, oh my God, what a beauty, how huge she is. And all those tracks, I never seen so many tracks in one place. I said, this must be a big city. I didn't know how big it was. But was I surprised when I saw those wooden houses? It surprised me. America in wooden houses and some so, so houses so cheap looking. He yes, said, I was really surprised, but I was so happy to be in America. I didn't care. I didn't care. And the uh, next day I went looking for a job. I found a job on the uh, Waffle Forge as a machinist. My wife, she found a job as a seamstress for drapery. And she was official as a small businesswoman. My first car was old Chevy. I bought the car, then made the picture and sent to England to my family. I bought a junky house that was neglected 
inside, outside. I fixed that. That's what they did back then. They didn't even question. Just like my father. Never took a day off from work. And on weekends, he'd help his immigrant friends with whatever they needed. My father wants to show you something. Or a couple things. Hello, Pani Stach. Dzień dobry. Wszystkiego najlepszego. Dziękuję. Piękna pogoda. Piękna zima. In my home, there were both languages, okay. Polish and English. Some of the people wanted only Polish. Some people wanted only English. But I said, they are both important. You guys are, you know, born in America. And what are you, what are you thinking wearing this stuff? We're Americans, but we have to know what our heritage was. So we had to do both. And that's, it's, it's great that we did. We were different. And our parents were different from most of our neighbors. I didn't always like sticking out, so I was embarrassed sometimes of being raised differently. But now I'm so grateful for the opportunities our parents created for us. I'm even grateful that they made us go to a special school on Saturdays. I learned that they organizing Polish school. And of course, I was very interested. And that's when we started participating, forming the organizations. And we were always very busy. Uh, I was secretary, he was vice president of Polish school one time. Our son was the oldest, Eva second, uh, Hania, Hania third, and Celeste fourth. Everybody has, you know, degree and, and working now. Our parents traveled a long and hard road to make sure that we could succeed and that we wouldn't have to experience what they experienced. When you think, where is home? Where is your home? Here. Here. Oh, yeah. I have a chair by that uh, shed over there. And I go and sit at the end of this spring. This is <laughs> smell of the pine. It's so fresh. It's so, so tender. It's so beautiful. I just sit here with and you don't have to cut it in Siberia. No, no. You can just enjoy it, huh? This has got to be cut it off in the springtime. Then a new one will grow up. We'll have for, for next year. Why do you like to plant so much? Yeah, it reminds me of home. So how, how old are you now? Oh, I'm just 99. That, that's all. So that's, that's the life. I've got a good life, and I've got a good family. The life is beautiful for me.